Hi, I'm Tom Bancroft, and this is a little how to draw Mushu from Milan demonstration. I was the supervising animator for Mushu, and I helped to create the final design of him um, and for the model sheets, and also did a lot of the uh, animation of the character along with some other animators, but I was supervising that process. So I feel like I know him pretty well. <laughs> I've drawn him thousands of times. Um, what you're going to see here is I'm actually making this for a certain purpose and you'll see at the end what the purpose is But it's a little thank you kind of thing. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one video here. So um, That's why you see an underdrawing sketch It's not because I need that for because I don't know how to draw them It's more so that um, I make sure I can do this with as little editing as possible And it still suits the purpose and fits within the frame that I, I need so let's get started I'm going to um, stay kind of zoomed out a little bit here and I'm just grabbing uh, in Photoshop here a, a little kind of a sketch brush and I want to stay pulled out a little bit so that we can see how to construct him. Uh, we'll start with the basics and that is, let me go a little thicker on this pencil, uh, starting kind of with an oval for the cranium of the head um, and then I'm going to slice that three quarters in the middle and in the and that's going to be where those eyes are going to lie they're, they're kind of oval shaped eyes we'll get to that in a minute um, and then his snout is kind of like goofy where it kind of comes off of that um, in like a tube shape that's a little thicker on the end his nose is a rounded triangle it goes on the end there you kind of carve that in in the middle too and make sure you're in the same three-quarter angle I'm going to have his mouth open in, in this case, so I'm going to slice that even in uh, the muzzle shape down the middle and then open up his mouth. So that's going to be, we, in, we won't end up seeing um, the bottom of the jaw like I drew when we first did it. So I'm, gonna, I'm even going to erase that a little bit. Now he's a snake, so um, the snake light part is his body. So he his body is basically just a long taper it tapers from thin uh, to thick in the chest area and the buttocks area <laughs> that's what we'll call it for him and then uh, and then it goes uh, thin again up into the tail so real thin at the at the end here so I'm going to add the thickness here and we don't go real harsh on these angles they're kind of I guess you could say rounded angles. We do add a few breaks into his body sometimes to throw out a butt, like here. I'm kind of bending in here, and that gives him a, a feeling of a butt. Um, and that's just to kind of break up the. So he's just not always like this. This tube. He's sort of a flattened tube. His chest, and we'll start showing that here um, by the second line. This shows his chest, and um, that helps give him a little bit, uh, a little more dimension, so that he doesn't feel round like a tube. He's actually, if you drew him from the top looking down, his chest is a little flatter and his back, um, this is his back, is rounder. So um, we never see that um, from that angle. That would be if you cut him in, into pieces. And then his tail has got these sort of sharp kind of breaks. They're, they're not fur like a lot of people think. Uh, his tail is actually, because he's fish-based, uh, Mushu is made up of all these different animals. And so because um, a lot of his body has scales and, the, and fins, like we'll see in a second. Um, he's got part fish, part camel, um, uh, catfish with the whiskers, and a lot of that is from his Asian uh, culture. Uh, so now we're going to see his horns go on, because he is a fantasy creature. And those go to angles from his head um, and his ears. And these are the cow ears. He's got cow ears here that come off the top. This one, we're just going to see the back of it. This one, we'll see a little bit of the inside. And let's put on those uh, those two those um, oval shaped eyes. He's got very big kind of oval shaped eyes, and we're working with that um, those crosshairs that we added. And it has a little kind of a crease in the middle here on his nose, and from this angle, we won't see the the normal bump that we see. Um, from this angle, we'll probably just see just the two lines. Um, and then we carve into here 
I'm going to notice I'm on both sides of the middle here of this these shape. These are basically his nostrils, but they're inspired by um, Chinese shapes. Uh, and then his the camel part of him are these whiskers. So he's got this hairy kind of lip, and out of that comes the catfish um, whiskers, and uh, this furry kind of upper lip is the camel part. So we'll throw in some shapes here for the whiskers. I'm going to open his mouth just a little wider. He's got these teeth that are kind of um, like rounded uh, triangle shapes on both sides. But we don't want them too sharp because he's a funny character. If they were sharp, pointy teeth like you would see on a dragon normally, uh, I think that would be off-putting to kids. So that's why we made him rounded. Um, He's got a grin line that goes way up here when he's really happy. And there's a little cheek indication just above that eye there. This is the other grin line on the other side. And then he's got, these are fins, these um, three kind of shapes. It's a small one, a large one, and then a medium one. And that's on both sides. Small, uh, large, and a medium one. And those can animate with this, with as he talks. Um, they can kind of go up and down and if he's sadder they can droop so there's a little emotion that you get out of those too uh, okay so and then he's got uh, well let's add the arms um, and they're thick to thin so they kind of start you know basically just a fourth of the way down his body um, and they go thick to thin and they're kind of uh, curved and there's little tufts on the end we'll get to some of the details in a minute um, and then, of course, he's got sharp, but kind of like I said, rounded, sharp edges to his his fingers, because on a on a real uh, Chinese dragon, those would be like claws, like a um, like an eagle. Um, so we've kind of changed that, evolved that, and simplified it to these sort of rounded claws that he's got. He's going to be gesturing to something, so that's why I have this arm out. And notice it's a little thicker at the elbow, you know, especially when he's gesturing to something like this. Straight on one side, a little bit of more curves on these sides. Now let's get down to his legs. They're at the, the bottom, but it's like, you know, another whatever fourth. If this is a fourth of the tube from the head to the shoulders, and then there's another maybe a little more than a fourth for the body to where the legs start, and then another, you know, uh, third or whatever for the tail so it's a little bit longer um, let's see so they again this goes thick to thin so it's thin at the base to a thick uh, kind of a knee and then thin again to these uh, kind of s-shaped uh, feet that he has and again those would be in a, in a real real life uh, if there is such a thing a real life Chinese dragon uh, it would be sort of the talons again for like an eagle and again we've kind of stylized these to be these sort of rounded uh, kind of shapes so they are claw like they're a little bit more fun and stylized to go with that and he had, above his um, his eyes he has some uh, eyebrows that we added all right, so that's the basis of Mushu. So let's kind of move on to adding details. Um, and I like to just do this. Um, I'll go over it in a black now. Um, I always add a thickness to the eyebrow, the, the top or the eyelash. And that's that's to kind of represent an eyelash. So, that his, the, so the top of his eyes always have that thickness to it. Um, I have his eyes looking at us. They're a little, a uh, little ovalish somewhere in between a circle and an oval. I always add a highlight. There's his grin line here. It goes right into um, kind of a little bag under his eyes. Again, there's his, his smile lines. Try and make these lines underneath his, on his snout, uh, not even. One a little bit longer, one a little bit shorter, um, not parallel, you know, and I think that's just good design. So I'm basically adding details and doing a kind of a cleanup now, cleanup sketch. So it's just a little tighter. Um, and as I go, I'm trying to add a little bit more flair to, uh, to the drawing too. Let's 
and again, just doing this as quick as I can here. Let's add this, nice smile. Again, that's why these fins are are small to large to medium. It's just a design thing, you know. We want to make things not even and uniform. So anytime we can break up shapes um, and make them, um, you know, go from uh, uneven, you know, uneven is a lot more appealing than just even. Everything's the same. Uh, so that's why a lot of our shapes. Um, and here I'm even trying to show a little perspective by making some of these teeth look like they're going away. They're a little thinner. Um, we don't always see much of the top of his teeth because we don't want to get teeth in with that mustache. It looks uh, crowded. He's got a very pointy little tongue. That's where he does have a point. So again, he's a dragon. He doesn't do that tongue thing. There's his eyebrows above, above that shape. You see a little bit of the cranium back here. He's not the smartest, guys. It's not a big cranium. Now, he has a little chip out of this ear. That's something that I added. I just thought it would be fun to have, not the, you know, so the ears don't look exactly alike. And again, it's kind of, you see that on cartoony cow drawings a lot is that little chip out of the ear I don't know what, where that started I think it was from you know in the American industry of cow industry they do tag cows in the ear like that so I think maybe that's where that came from in a cartoon in the cartoon universe but I added it um, okay and then he's got black at the at ends of his uh, his ears here so just like the back um, back third or so or fourth uh, is black like this and then kind of a curved shape let's go into the neck and that's where you can add a little bit of a break is right there at the chest I think it always looks good gives him a little bit feeling like he's sorry that messed up like he's sticking his chest out um, let's see. Let's keep going with this. And again, there's on the little tufts of hair, they're st still kind of sharp. Um, because again, he's not, they're not, they're not fur. They're more like he's part fish. So more like fins. And so, but I do use them as hair in a way in a Disney tradition. So, and again, make them different sizes. So there's only two or three on each elbow. Whenever possible, we try and group the fingers together. That's in a very stylized way. So that's kind of what I did here with these these two fingers. Let's keep this arm. Little little feeling of a shoulder there. Sorry, I'm really cramped right here. hope you can hear me after I drop that mic. You remember his, his thumbs and fingers are this sort of rounded um, pointy kind of blades, you know, they're not, we don't want them to look like blades. So that's why they're a little bit pointy. Do a little bit of overlap here on these fingers. So that that, fin that pinky finger, it looks like it's, you know, overlapping. And very thin, very thin at the wrist. And back to his body.
length. Again, these are tubes, but they're not, you know, perfectly the same. I added this little little squiggle there on his um, when I was designing. I was on on his knees, and I, it was again. It's sort of a throwback to uh, Dennis the Menace. Have you ever noticed in Dennis the Menace they have those little uh, squiggles on their elbows? And that's just my homage to that kind of cartooning thing that just doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's little breaks on his uh, on his claws. And this is sort of an S curve here. You know, didn't think that Lucia had anything to do with Dennis the Menace, did you? Now, and make these again, they're kind of sharp and pointed, but make one kind of bigger, one bigger shape, one medium shape, and one smaller. Um, and sometimes we even kind of throw one hair off of it, and that just makes that look um, it's hairy, but not, you know. All right, so where are we here? Let's reduce this down. Oh, we, what we forgot was the fin. So here's the details. Again, uh, break up the shape. So a small fin, uh, and then this one is going behind here. It would be the big fin. And then there'll be a little medium sized fin that we're gonna lose there. We're not gonna see it all, so I won't draw it all in. Um, and then the breaks on his chest. A lot of people put too many. He doesn't have that many. Um, we're gonna do maybe two to three to the chest. Um, and they're pretty evenly spaced. Whoops. But as you can see, I only did um, what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. There's there's probably around seven um, in general. All right, now we can cut this off and uh, have fun. I because I wanted to make this go a little quicker. Uh, so now it's starting to look like Mushu, right? Uh, let's see. I think did we do it all? I think we did. Uh, let's zoom out now. See if we can finish this up and get rid of my swatches and. Now you can see why I'm doing this, which is right here. I had a 10,000 followers on Instagram, so I just was making this for that reason. So thanks for joining me, and uh, this was fun to do. I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope it came out. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, you can um, see more uh, teaching things that I'm doing on um, topbyapro.com.